Well, getting about March and April now. Um, however, this isn't a video about riding. We haven't started riding yet. However, we are starting to get the bike ready. And I got a few accessories I'm putting on today. Uh, so I'll show you some of them. But, uh, of course, make sure when you're getting your bike out, make sure that you're, uh, that you check to make sure all your fluids are up. Uh, make sure to check all your lights out, check the tires up again, get the air pressure up, check the oil. Um, if you didn't change your oil in the fall, change it now. However, I changed mine in the fall, so we ain't got to worry about that. But the big thing we're going to do today is we're going to install some accessories. And I'll show you those, what we got here on the, the ground. So, we got all kinds of stuff here. Um, essentially, so first thing I'm going to do... We're going to install Goldwing GPS input. So that way I can run my GPS on my phone and hear it in my intercom system. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sell some accessories. Uh, we're going to put it all together with one of these called a fuse block. And they're about, they're about, they're spendy, they're 90 bucks. But the big thing with them is they got a uh, relay built inside of them. So that way you can tie everything in the way you want it. Um, you can decide whether you want to come on with the key or not on with the key. Uh, they look like a pretty cool little product. Um, so we're going to give that a shot. Like I said, they're quite a bit spendy than if you're going to do it with just a regular fuse block and the negative block. But I think it's worth the while. Um, also, also we're going to install another outlet up here somewhere on top. I haven't quite figured out where I want to put that yet. Uh, basically, the outlet we're installing, it's going to be, it's uh, just a little deal I found on Amazon. It's actually pretty cheap. It focuses for you. What the heck? Okay, so it's not going to focus. But basically, what it does is it shows you the voltage on the outlet, and it's got two USB ports. So I figured that'll work perfect to power my cell phone when I'm running down the road um we're gonna put i can't really see in there but basically usb outlet we're gonna shove inside of here where my wife keeps her cell phone so we're probably gonna put a quick connect in there and mount it to the side there or something like that um and then of course we're gonna put a ram mount on here somewhere i don't know where thinking maybe I'll stick it here with like the cup holder or something like that. Either way, I'll figure it out as we go. But uh, I'll give you updates on the way. Well, hey, everybody. Well, today has become tomorrow. Uh, but we've got a lot of a lot of things done on the uh, motorcycle. And everything managed to go together like it should. And if I could find a flashlight... All right, flashlight's been found, so let's show you what we did here. So, so you'll see, we started out, we put wires to the battery. We brought them back to the fuse block, our fuse block, which I told you about. Nice little machine, does everything for you, so you don't have to build a separate relay, and in a ground block, and a positive block, it's just an all-in-one device. About $90 on wing stuff, but from working with it, it's actually, I think it's pretty worthwhile. So from there, basically powering that, of course you can run switch to run switch. All my stuff are switched. Uh, the switch wire, I took down to where the accessory goes. That's the little hole. That's where, going right to the accessory on the GL1500. Come around, here's my conduit that I used. I got... Of course, the power going inside my pocket like I did before. Also, we added a voltmeter slash USB port to it. And yes, it works. Check that out. So now I have a voltmeter and I didn't have to make too many holes. Uh, just a couple screw holes that I put inside, just like that. So, you know, honestly, as you can see, this thing's cracked anyway. So, you know what? No skin off my bones if it didn't work. So, anyways, all that comes back to here. Another thing I put in was a double socket 12 volt port right there. And then for my wife, who's been asking me for this forever and ever, I got a little 
little USB port right here. Also, the thing about that USB port, I put a quick connect on it. So if I need to run something with your, with like your battery tender quick connect or whatever, I can pull that and use that. I work for like my, for uh, when I'm use, if I ever have to use my little air compressor, I have in my plug kit. But uh, anyways, other than that, we, you'll see we put the RAM out on there. So that's where the phone's going to go. Um, there's a little, you can kind of see the, uh, the, uh, three and a half millimeter jack. That's what I got for, so that I can hear my cell phone now over the intercom. And I would say we're ready to ride for the year. So like we said before, we did uh, a lot of, a lot of work over the last two days. Get this all set up, ready to go, ready for the road when spring comes. So take care of yourself and we'll see you on the road.